Yes, we still have that screamer there. Oh. Not a screamer at all, that would explain it. But why would we just have one? Very confusing. I guess that's all oh right, that's the moon over there. Right, right. Okay, so do we have any, like, plant fibers right now? Barely any. We are going to want to get a few more of those. Let's also go ahead and set up... a few torches here for now. all to the forged steel. Just under twenty eight. I don't know where fair chunk away end of twenty eight, apparently, from that. Hmm. Debating how much more I should bother upping armor smithing until I get at least the last two patterns. How much I just leave as much I just leave it there since like we discussed earlier, you lose XP for raising it prior to knowing all the patterns. And armor smithing takes long enough that I don't think it's really feasible at all to wait till a hundred before learning the others.
probably just put the spikes back up like two cheap rows. To deal with screamers for now, because I don't want to have to expand out the base quite yet. But we will. These trees look larger, but guess what? They're still only 500. Why? I don't know. Might as well cut them down when, uh, where, when they are in the other stage, though. I don't know, 200 should be plenty for now. that there. right now to upgrade those. So we're just going to renew our layer of two. Because we can just take each of these down with a single swing, which we will be doing at some point. exists solely to make sure the, oops, the screamers don't have the chance to either sit there and force us to go out and be seen. Note that screamers were changed in 14.6. They no longer summon an entire horde. They just summon like five zombies. The instant they see you, it doesn't look like you can interrupt it anymore. But then on the positive note, um, it's only five zombies every 20 seconds, so if you, they keep seeing you and you don't deal with them, you're going to be in trouble. But it's not, oh, Screamer saw you for half a second, now you have to deal with a whole horde, including zombie bears spawning inside your base. So in that aspect, I definitely approve.
Yeah, three cr new crates should be sufficient. I think, for now at least. So we are going to hop down the stairs, be blinded by the light, turn back upstairs, say no, that's too bright, and pick up these four torches in hopes that it helps. torches at ground level. Maybe try not having any of these. We can go with this for now, see how this works out, I suppose. We can put wood into this crate. say stone goes in the far right crate, since it's going to probably be what we have most of. We may make a cement mixer later on to grind this up into sand, but not really a huge priority at this second. We'll take the clay and maybe iron both, because I don't know if we'll ever have enough sand and concrete mix for me to really be worried about that. But I suppose it remains to be seen. middle crate. Um, these wood log spikes, well actually we'll use some of them. We can probably throw some more onto the fires. That is plenty of time. That is plenty of time. That has plenty of time. That all looks good. This we are going to scrap. And make a new one out of. The wood box spikes can go back in there. The food and water could both afford to be pushed up slightly. should start a farm sometime soon as well. Even though we don't have any corn yet, which is the biggest issue. Um, and which armor tab things did we have? We had helmet, but we have the mining helmet. Let's see where this gets us, I suppose. Okay, so we land here, and the town is over there, right? Probably worth just going straight east. <laughs> Let's not put it in the direct corner. Probably right here. Now we could make this higher than 2x1. What's the problem with doing so? Well, imagine if we made it 3x1. Now it takes 50% longer. We could make it 3x2. Well, that takes three times longer than our, our original idea. So expanding tunnels like these to be more convenient, less claustrophobic, etc. Feel free to do that. Just bear in mind it's going to take you considerably longer to be digging. 
That is the caveat. One other thing we'll be doing as we go along here is we'll be looking for another vein to be mining. Ideally, one well away from our base underground. And after I've discovered some things about mining and so on, um, I would have definitely changed my strategy early on. I'd basically just tunnel immediately to the bedrock. Then if I wanted to mine at night, tunnel out, you know, 0.1 kilometers or something, 100 meters away from the perimeter and mine someplace around there. I'm not sure I'd bother with the, the basements, except for maybe like one initial basement area. And frankly, it's probably simpler, and the re part of the reason I say that is that's probably simpler for most people to just dig straight down, make a ladder out, have a hay bale at the bottom, and then that way you don't have to worry about the screamers or such seeing you. You can freely tunnel a bit away from your base without worrying about having to collapse it. Donna seems, seems to have quite a few advantages there. So, armor smithing, well, that actually worked out pretty damn nicely. So we will go ahead and use that. Now my hope here is that sometime in the near future we will run across another vein. And we can just start mining there. this one. Which in theory has something besides sand at some point. So, let's try this, shall we? A little idea. Is that gonna pretty much hit the tunnel? Yes, okay. right now is get closer, move up a little bit. Why well, are we trying to move up higher? Because of the sand pockets. up another about a minute of that
Oh boy, not the graphical glitches again. Seriously, guys. Pretty nice spot that I'm sitting at right here, having so much within reach without even bothering to move. Can't really complain about that. See much easier this is with the mining helmet though, I'm not even bothering with torches. Oh, where did the light go? Oh, it's back on, phew. Yes, that was me manually toggling it, just to make sure nobody panics about the flashlight dying on them like that. Oh shit, oi! Another thing I can definitely do is craft a bunch of shotgun shells to help speed up the gunsmithing. Up to 79 in gunsmithing. Must get more mats. Must harvest. Must, must, must. It's oddly addicting. Just, just one more mineral vein. I, then I can stop. Just, just one more patch of minerals. I'm, I'm good for it. I swear. Just give me a pickaxe for a little bit more mining. I 
And of course, this is also raising our mining tool skill, which will hit 100 pretty soon. As in, I'm not even sure we're technically to 98 yet of the actual skill, but as in, we are very close to 100 overall. Is falling down, falling down, falling down. Gravel bridge is falling down, my dear gravel. There's a reason I didn't go into singing, and why I played clay, a uh, saxophone, and not wasn't in choir. I have an aunt; she's actually a professional singer. On my father's side of the family. My mother's side of the family, let's just say you never want to hear us sing happy birthday to you, ever. Unless you're a masochist, I guess, then maybe you do. Definitely realize some of this has been less than thrilling overall. If you're like, is he ever gonna do anything besides this endless mining? Holy shit! Well, I wanted to, and I was originally hoping I could do it even before the day 13. Then that discovery of the 97 threshold being such a massive difference just kind of floored me. I thought 65 or so, which is what you could generally get to with about like reasonable toolsmithing and stuff. Um, I thought that seemed like a decent benchmark. I don't even know about the actual breakdown, I just came up with 65 because I noticed myself around there a lot of time with reasonable weaponsmithing and toolsmithing and maxed miscellaneous. Now the good news, of course, is that all of these freaking gunpowder we're getting and making does mean that we don't have to bother mining any for a very, very long time, right? We're gathering it now, stocking up. So it may take another day or two. I just cannot, s I can still not believe the difference the that hitting level 96 or 97 makes, whichever it is. And then how much of a difference 128 hits compared to how awful 128 is to try to hit. Like, I don't know what the pimps are expecting people to be doing. And it also means that in a multiplayer game, that you have, like, people specializing on different things. Like, person A focuses on weaponsmithing, and person B focuses on that. Like, not only does everyone basically have to get all the skills to get, like, that level 128, It also means that who's ever like the weaponsmith actually doesn't want to be learning the weaponsmithing patterns for until they actually hit 600. On the flip side, the fact that they can focus on weaponsmithing exclusively potentially does mean perhaps they can hit it sooner, but then they still have to grind up all the other skills. Or suck at scavenging. If they're fine with sucking at scavenging, then oh well, they can live with that. It seems very backwards that you want to level grind for so much and avoid reading skill books in order to not be stuck later on and 
be unable to like hit the arbitrary breakpoints that the developers have set. I'm trying, like, the best I'm coming up with offhand, trying to think about this, is the idea that maybe they figured you'd get up to, like, 20 or 30 weaponsmithing skill or something, then, and toolsmithing, then go find a bunch of schematics, then learn those schematics, and then that way you don't lose a whole bunch of, or not, you don't lose as much XP as you would have if you'd gotten what toolsmithing and weaponsmithing higher, so, it's like you... Like, you have to go one way or the other. Either you barely level your tools and weapons until you find a bunch of schematics and read them, or you basically have to level them all the way or lose a shit ton of XP. The longer you wait to read schematics, unless you're at max, the more XP you lose. Smithing are we at now? Part way through eighty two. see the progress bar slowly moving up there and you can see how, how our XP is not changing at all. One hundred on mining tools bumped us up like half a level there, right? demonstrate something just to show you I'm not completely crazy about this and to show you what I'm illustrating. So right, right now we're there. We just jumped up to the nearly the level mark, right? Massive blast of, well not massive at this point because we're high enough level, but significant chunk of XP if you prefer. If you're one to easily get lost in things like this, then by all means leave a trail for yourself to follow or something. No harm in that, no shame in that. So we're down here at negative 57. It's a little trick I learned on how to make this not quite so bad. We basically set, ideally this is another hay bale for reasons I'll explain soon, but other than that, see, you just walk off and onto the ladder, bam. Oh, 
I completely forgot to change that down to so that's been a waste of quite a bit. Okay, so we're right there on 83, nearly to, sorry, 93, nearly to 94, right? Haha, -ha, we found a new sniper rifle schematic. Oh look, zero XP gained. But we just lost the 83, we just lost the 83 to 84 experience we'd get for progressing naturally. So no, I'm not making this shit up. We just effectively lost, like, what? A quarter of a level or whatever? Is a quarter of a level individually the biggest deal? Not necessarily. But what if you go and learn, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, more patterns at least, more than just that? Hey, suddenly you're talking about like two or three levels worth of XP. Strictly speaking, uh, the thing that gives you more wellness, you know, technically increases the wellness you get from drinks, I assume. So in that sense, it's not as completely useless as it might be, but... When you're talking about how something isn't completely useless, that's probably not a very good starting point, you know? Did I get the shotgun chill crafting? Not yet. So we have 111 paper. Uh, Alright, we need to melt more lead. We should probably just let this go for right now. Level 94. I'm trying to think if there's anything besides the other two iron patterns that are considered armor smithing, and I want to say no. Because we already have the scrap iron set, I believe. I think those are the only, like, armor smith in those ten items.
then if you're thinking, well, couldn't you at least be doing something more interesting while the gunpowder's crafting? Yeah? That would also then lead to me spamming more wood clubs into the chests later on. Or I'd probably do that while I'd have <laughs> the gunpowder crafting, so at least there's something... Like, I'm trying to make it so that if I'm having to sit there and with a forge open or sit there spamming wood clubs into something, at least something else is going on. I seem to recall testing um, wood clubs versus this and deciding that the difference between the two is very minute. I'm not going to vouch for that 100%, but there didn't seem to be a significant enough difference. And this is a hell of a lot more convenient. Not having to try to place down the chest constantly, not having to run out and like obviously gather the wood, being able to resmelt the materials down, not needing to worry about switching chests or inventory suddenly filling up, and of course going along with that means that not just gunpowder crafting is okay, I could be crafting armor as you saw earlier, or anything that takes up inventory space without having to worry about that screwing stuff up. Because with wood clubs you can't really afford to do anything but that. Now, if we could make steel arrowheads, this would be even better. The good news is that if you're playing with friends, this is an opportunity for you to be just chatting, talking about the future, plans for the next day. Um, it's a chance to go prepare food or take a bio break or whatever, I guess. And you can still have two crafting cues working while you're away from the computer and not really having to pay attention, pretend of attention to the game. And if you're by yourself, then you can be reading a book or something, I guess. Or if you're recording a video, then you can't read a book or your viewers will wonder if you just fell asleep at the keyboard. And yes, it's taking like 500 plus arrowheads for one weapon smithing skill at this point, or will soon at least. Oh, the gunpowder's done. also gunsmithing skill to have this here. If you've ever had problems getting iron in your games, well, again, I give you this as evidence of what you can be doing. Like what, that's five and a half thousand iron visible on the screen right now alone, just in my inventory and the output of the forge that I threw there. 
since I have more. It takes 30 seconds to scrap an anvil, and we can make it in about 16 seconds, so... <laughs> it's kind of a bit awkward. Our crafting queue is full already. Sad day. By crafting, we really mean like scrapping. Can't scrap that. Haven't cut up to our crafting queue. And we're about to hit the next day, so I'll go ahead and stop this video, resume in the next.